<laughs> All right, let's get going. Hello again. Hey, we're back. We are back. And you know what day today is? It's my favorite day. Why? Because it's summer and we're locked inside? No, well, uh, no, because we're talking about training today. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Missed the memo. Yeah. Yeah. This is your space. I, uh, training, learning, development, these are, this is the things about change management that I especially love. Um, so I'm really excited that we're going to be sharing our prompts about training, uh, learning, curriculum building, and all of that fun stuff using ChatGPT. Great. Well, as a change manager, I always have to say to the training lead, what are the training needs? Mm-hmm. Get the wooden spoon. Yes. All right. We're not back in Canada in the 80s, but... Um... Training, learning, development. This is This is the stuff about change management that I absolutely love. Absolutely, and yeah. we need enthusiasts, we need experts like you to help us through the journey, especially in complex situations like dealing with sales teams, mm -hmm. let me tell you. Mm -hmm. I've worked in sales, I love sales, I'm passionate about it, but guess what? Going to training doesn't get us out the door in the morning. We are mostly commission-based, so we need to have some pretty creative change and training engagement strategies to get the attendance and people to adopt the changes. I smell a Salesforce adjacent prompt coming up. All right, let's talk about it. Let's Can I give it. you, I'm the change person today. You, uh, you're the training person today. Let's Can I send you some of my change related problem statements? Oh my gosh, of course. Let's okay. do it. I have a hundred salespersons spread across the US who need to get trained up on Salesforce. Small window of time, one to two weeks. Mm -hmm. What kind of training needs do you think we'll need? Ooh, I think that we're gonna need some. We're gonna need some things to get them out of the bed in the morning. So we're gonna be, you know, focusing on some of their interests. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be touching on that buzzword that everybody loves, gamification. Okay. And we're yeah, we're gonna be doing a training. Need. Let's let's see what they need. Let's see what we need. The logistics. Let's build out a plan, a curriculum, and go from there. Rock and roll. Okay, let's do it. Oh, wait, can we get a bit of help from ChatGPT too? Oh yeah, of course. So everything that you just have asked and inquired, I've put into ChatGPT and again, so at the very start of our video series, we talked about using ChatGPT as an advisor and mm -hmm. to kind of simulate an advisor and that's what I've done in this prompt. So this prompt is prompting ChatGPT to become a change management advisor in which we will ask train, uh, training related questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to start simulating the prompt now. So just looking at the output, you know, it is pretty generic. I think it's a, mm -hmm. it's nice that it's it's saying, hey, have you got all your ducks in a row when it comes yep. to, you know, these approaches? But the thing about this now is that we have some pretty unique training needs. Absolutely. And it is giving us the generic stuff that we would probably get it advised through ProSci yeah. or CCMP. So let's see if they can be a bit more specific. Absolutely. Let's refine. Yeah. With this prompt, please identify some unique training needs for this group. Nice. Okay, this is really good, especially working a lot with uh, training folks. So what's the return on investment? What do they mm -hmm. get out of it? How does it help them in their jobs? As we scroll down below, I like that it really highlights performance analytics. So mm -hmm. how does this relate to performance, how they're measured, as well as looking at time management. That's Absolutely. super important when you're on the road and mm -hmm. trying to make your commission checks. Mm -hmm. And I think this is also too, you know, for those that are in change management, for those that might not you know, be in it. One of the big things when it comes to people and training is that they're, mm -hmm. you know, they have a full day. So fitting in another thing to think about, like the, yeah. you know, how does this align with their motivations? You know, how they can do their current role. With all this looking pretty good, I think it's time to draft a curriculum and actually get ChatGPT to help us draft a curriculum. In your former experience with sales folks, what are some things that, yeah, we can think about when we design a prompt for a draft curriculum? Yeah, Salesforce in this group are gonna look a lot at lead generation as well as opportunity management. So let's explore there. And if we've done a good job of our impact analysis, we'll know what's covered in the modules as well as what's unique about our stakeholders. So stakeholders in this case are big American football fans and they're dispersed across the country and they like gamification and a bit of competition. Let's go ahead and put this into our prompt, which of course will be pasted in the description of this video. Okay. Ooh, I like the theming. How fun is that? Oh, victory. Come on, come on. Okay, I don't really under, do you understand American football? No, but it's cute. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, let's look at, yeah, let's take a look. Super cute. Mm -hmm. It's not very specific though. I think as we scroll down to yeah. leads and opportunities, um, yeah, I think it really goes really well beyond actually even teaming up with CRM earlier on, mm -hmm. assessing program that's a progress rather that's more for managers monitoring the sales team. So mm -hmm. this really extends far beyond just lead generation and opportunity management, but I know we could further refine. Yeah, great, great. <laughs> I think the thing for me as well is, you know, just seeing that we did not put in a specific time period. So if we're mm. going to have 13 modules or not, this is where we might want to, you know, consider refining it based on the, yeah, our, our logistics and how much time we actually need for training. Yep. And the audience as well. We weren't exactly clear that it's like the sales team. We should have maybe been explicit about CRM, sales team, finance, mm. sales directors, etc. Yeah. Yeah. But for now, I think this is a really good piece to iterate. It's fun, engaging. So I've looked at curriculum development, you know, just kind of seeing the possibilities a lot earlier on. Um, and one of the things that made me excited was that you can really deep dive and drill down from the curriculum into specific modules and say, hey, can you generate a bit of you know, yeah. content for this? So I think in the next prompt, it would be fun to take one of the modules that ChatGPT has outputted and say, hey, maybe you can generate some content for this. It's going to be two hours, roughly. Yep. We're going to include a 15 minute break to be kind. You know, the brain goes not numb long before the bum. Take those sales calls. <laughs> Take those sales calls. Yeah, exactly. So let's go ahead and run this prompt. Not bad. No, it looks like the natural cycle. So if we go to mm -hmm. the top, we have um, the fundamentals, which okay, this is going beyond technical training in the system, so maybe mm. we don't fully need it. Mm -hmm. But hey, it's giving you the full gamut um, fundamentals, how to do it. Yeah. Dang. Pretty snazzy. <clears throat> do you want to hear a cheesy quote? Yeah, of course. A goal without a plan is just a dream. Let's put a plan in action Let's then. put a plan in action. No more dreaming. <laughs> don't dream, it's over. Yep. Um, so... I think what we can do, especially for ChatGPT, getting all of our houses in order is to help us ideate a training plan end to end, including, mm -hmm. you know, because I, I think when people think about training, they're thinking about, okay, just getting into the classroom and training or getting online and training. They're not thinking about the logistics, the mm -hmm. comms, the invitations, you know, even sometimes the, the, the aftercare. Absolutely. Yeah, let's take a look, see what they suggest. Sure. So this leads us to our next prompt. Create a simple training plan. The timeline is two months. You can read the rest in the description. Let's rock and roll. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we need more than two weeks to develop content. Yep. Yeah. I think, you know, one important thing as consultants mm. and as people that like to see things concisely is yep. perhaps if we can see this in a table. Absolutely. So yeah, like you say, I think it's a, you know, a good point to mention that, yeah, content development takes, you know, lo a lot longer, can take longer, especially if there's any trainers involved, any train the trainers involved. E-learning content takes a long time. So I think for this, it's good, especially, you know, we can then later further ask for example technology setup asking about you know specific actions or steps in here we can you know go a lot deeper if we want to and yeah just ask ChatGPT about these certain about certain weeks so after everything is said and done gotta get some reactions how did it go uh, yeah yeah so with our last prompt in this video session, we have created one about the post-training survey. So just getting ChatGPT to help us sort of ideate which sort of questions would effectively measure how our attendees like the sessions, whether or not they achieved their learning goals, understood learning objectives, and those sorts of things. My first reaction is on the scale consistency, to be honest, from a mm. stats perspective. I don't mean to be a nerd, <laughs> but like... There's no five-point Likert scales here. There's not, but you should also use consistent verbiage as well. Fair so enough. strongly uh, disagree through to strongly agree, for example. Mm -hmm. And like you said, variance as well should be consistent. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty generic. I feel like if you are in these sessions, you'll probably hopefully have more experiences to further flesh out these questions. To be honest, I don't think I'm super impressed 
with the output of this survey. Um, I guess it's a you know it's a it's a good yeah it's Starting a good start. Point. It's a good start. But hey, it's not just about reactions. What's going to be really important throughout the change adoption journey is utilization, adherence, and business continuity. So this is the teaser for our next video Ooh, on I measurement. Smell a video, a good video coming. Yeah, this is about measuring. Yeah, are you accomplishing your goals with change? Benefits realization. Let's mm -hmm. throw in a better buzzword. Come oh, on, right? we like a buzzword. We're yeah. talking to senior stakeholders. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. Let's show you these benefits realized. So, oh, I cannot wait for this measurement video. I think it'll be very exciting. So subscribe, follow mm -hmm. along. Hope to see you next week when we talk measurement. <laughs> Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. This will be the outtake, I think. <laughs> yep. What the heck? I'm freaking heck. Okay. Come on, y'all. We've got some hot We've topics. Some hot. Yeah, it's definitely not keeping up.